is America. It's a great thing to have a discussion so that you can get the facts out there and then people can make up their minds what they think. Some people may not agree with this investment and that's their prerogative. Seven years in the making, this week Valley Children's CEO Todd Suntrapak opening up about the new stadium deal with Fresno State. Suntrapak saying the first discussions began seven years ago. Last week, the CSU board granting Fresno State to change the name of Bulldog Stadium to Valley Children's Stadium as part of a 10-year, $10 million partnership. Suntrapak says the money comes strictly out of their marketing fund that's existing, not one penny out of the donations the hospital receives. The money will go towards enhancing facilities academically and athletically, along with scholarships for students. So come September 1st, the dogs season opener for the first time in 42 years. The PA announcer will not say welcome to Bulldog Stadium. He will say welcome to Valley Children's Stadium. So we want to welcome back our panel. Bill McEwen, Henry Perret, and Bill, you have covered Bulldog sports. I'm not going to give the date, but it's been for Thank some you. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, what do you make of this Bulldog Stadium no longer? Okay, so fans are going to call it Bulldog Stadium. Yeah. What the hospital is getting is what a sports announcer on ESPN or CBS Sports Network might say. Mm. They're getting how it might be referred to at media on this station, on GV Wire, Fresno B. There's a value in that. Uh, to me, it's a hard ca call if that value is more than the kickback that they're getting from the community that's saying, wait a second, I bought a kid's day paper for the hospital to help the kids. You have so much money, you can now put it on a stadium. I think that's a natural reaction. And I think Valley Children's is going to have to keep explaining why they did it. They mm -hmm. said it is to market the hospital nationally so they can attract better physicians so yeah. that it will help with child care. But, you know, the initial reaction, all you have to do is go on social media. A lot of people yeah. are complaining about it. Yeah, what do you make of it? Yeah, I think it's all a lot about nothing. I mean, I think Mr. Central Pack made a, a brilliant decision, business decision. Mm -hmm. And I think, as Bill was saying, once the announcer, or you said it, once they announce it the first time, people will forget about it and enjoy the game and have a great hot dog and beer. You know, mm -hmm. good move for Valley Children's. They're going to get national attention to a, to a name brand children's hospital that is just renowned in the state of California. And I think the more visibility gets out there, it attracts doctors uh, and everything that goes with the plus for a hospital. Before we move on, we've seen a lot of deals in the past with Fresno State kind of fall by the wayside, right? And I'm wondering, is this sustainable? I know Valley Children's is probably the most sustainable partnership Fresno State has had in all long, long time. But is it sustainable after 10 years? Is this something we're going to see so, for a long, long time. So naming rights deals today, people make a business decision. Mm -hmm. We've seen NFL stadiums renamed three or four times. Right. You know, seven years from now, Valley mm -hmm. Children's will start calculating. Mm -hmm. Has this helped us? Has it been worth it? Fresno State will start calculating what can we get from our next contract. Yeah. And so that's what's going to happen. But naming deals today... You know, you're not going to see, you don't see the 25-year deal anymore. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with Bill. It's, it's they'll make a business. Did business. you say well, Yeah, yeah. I agree with 10 years, they'll make a good business. Oh, breaking sure. news. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, before we finish up here, uh, I want to uh, kind of conglomerate a couple of things that we're seeing. Measure C now going to the Fresno Board of Supervisors. It will <clears throat> essentially pass and now make it to the ballot. You heard from Alma Beltran. Obviously, the advocacy group still not happy about this. And then there's this new Fresno state tax pushed by Harris Construction. And Tim Orman, the former city manager, is on this as well. They're trying to collect more than 25,000 signatures in hopes to get it on the ballot in November. It goes to a number of things, including trying to r renovate Bulldog Stadium. And it's a Fresno state tax all for the university. Um, when you see both of these, um, are voters inclined to say yes, yes? So I've seen what the polling shows on Measure C. Strike me dead if it doesn't happen, but it's going to pass. People are happy with Measure C. Mm -hmm. They've had it for a long time. 
I think that uh, the people behind this have done a good job of explaining where the money's going to go for. In fact, they have steamrolled these so-called community advocates. When I look at the polling, mm -hmm. the people that the advocates are supposed to represent, they say they want roads fixed, pot hills fixed, and they want uh, sidewalks. So, you know, in his first two years as mayor, is this the biggest victory for Jerry Dyer? So I'm told, uh, you know, this is kind of a team victory because city mm -hmm. council members had a key role in this. In, uh, but getting... he was a spokesperson. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's out front. He gets to lead the parade, but... Yeah, you know, I, I think there's no question that, that people want sidewalks, their streets fixed, they want freeways, oh, they, they, yeah. they want roads, they want safe paths to schools for children. That's what they want in this yeah. county. And, and the county has done, uh, through its Measure C program, has delivered that to the mm -hmm. people of Fresno County. That's why it has so much support. I mean, you look at the, the Fresno State Stadium. I mean, I'm a Bulldog graduate, so right. I mean, I love my university. I'm with you. But here comes the but. You know, the but is uh, the initial poll for that was in the tank. I don't even think they broke double digits. Mm -hmm. People just were not supportive of it. That's why they added, okay, well, we'll build more facilities within the school. Then it got more support. But even then, it's going to be a tough push uphill for them to pass mm -hmm. that. I think Harris... Uh, construction would be better, their time better spent talking to the folks that have money in this community and, and find donors who will build those school facilities. Uh, Finish it up. So the point I want to make is you have paid signature gatherers out there. Who knows what they're telling people? Yeah. Are they even saying it's a tax or are they saying, will you sign something to help Fresno State? Yeah. I suspect the latter based on anecdotal evidence. Yeah. It may make it to the ballot. But there is so much that is unknown about this, I no. don't see any way that it can pass. All right. Henry Perea, Bill McEwen, thank you guys so much. Love the knowledge.